Good afternoon, everyone. This is Henry Gamble with SimplerTrading.com. A couple of the charts I wanted to bring to you in tonight's free video. One of them we're going to start off here with a couple ideas in gold. This is a 10-year weekly chart, so we're looking at a pretty good amount of back data. And one of the things that I think are most important to acknowledge, whether you've gone through a significant run higher or a big drop lower, is how much of the move are you retracing? So there's two key highs that I'm going to be referencing for this idea. One of them is the 185.85 that is the high that we've seen for this amount of data. And uh, the other is going to be kind of right here where you found these three previous highs that was just a little bit lower right here around 170. This was the biggest, obviously, a very big move down from 185 to 100. And that's the move that I'm wanting to analyze. So I will take my Fib Retracement tool and I will run that from this swing high down into this swing low. And then I'll do the exact same thing for this high against this low. Now you could argue the use of the other two highs right in here, but ultimately they're so close to being the same price that they're going to give you a very similar zone. I tend to use the higher of them. You know, I feel like these two that I have run have enough differences that both of them need to be utilized. But the thing that I want to show you here is note how from that little bit smaller high to low swing, how you perfectly retraced a 618 of that move. This is so interesting because right up into that high was when you saw about the peak maximum amount of uh, people being bullish on gold. So you get into a major retracement area that you know, emotion or the sentiment behind it is about as good as it gets, and that's the perfect time to decline off of that. So I continue to use the Fib work uh, in my trading a lot, and I find it very helpful, and I think that's one example that we have to make note of. I think that gold could pull back into something like 131.15, and then it's going to be time to play that back to the buy side. Ultimately, I only really want to be long and to be buying gold but I think I'm going to have a better chance to do it from some significantly lower prices. All right, that's one commodity, kind of a bearish take. Another I wanted to bring to you that is more on the buy side is looking here at Costco. So Costco has been on a very good bullish run, and if we come back and look at the daily chart, this is where we're seeing the signals that I'm currently the most interested in. You can see that the previous two squeezes that we had both ultimately resulted in upside moves. Now these pullbacks that are highlighted in the red rectangles, squares, are areas that I think it's important to notice that it seems kind of sharp when you're coming down into them, but ultimately resolve higher off of these signals. So try to keep that in mind as we get through the next couple of weeks. I think Costco is headed into the extension up here around 315. I would be willing to buy that on any pullbacks down into these lows around 295, and as long as that trend remains intact, I think that's good for a push above 307 and then moving into the targets shown there, um, just above where we're currently trading. So I hope that's helpful. It gives you a couple of charts to keep in focus as we get into next week. We will see you at the next free video.